Text 1 Borobudur Temple Borobudur Temple is one of the most beautiful tourist resorts in Indonesia. It is situated in central Java. Borobudur Temple is one of the seven wonders of the world which needs to be preserved its circumstances. The people all over the world know that Borobudur is one of the greatest art works that ever known since long time ago. Borobudur Temple was built by Sarailandra dynasty during the 8th century. It needed more than 2 million river stones. It is the biggest temple in the world. After going into some restorations, Borobudur is visited by more and more tourists, both domestic and foreign tourists. Most of them admire Borobudur Temple because of its beauty, its elegance and the story of the relief on its walls. Domestic tourists usually go there by bus or private cars, while foreign tourists like to join travel bureau because they don't need to think of the transportation, accommodation, and itinerary. There are some money changes around the location. It makes them easier to change their money. But some of them like to bring credit cards and checks. Text to the Eiffel Tower The Eiffel Tower is an iron lattice tower located on the Champ de Mar in Paris. Built in 1889, it has become both a global icon of France and one of the most recognizable structures in the world. The tower is the tallest building in Paris and the most visited paid monument in the world. Millions of people ascend it every year. Named for its designer, engineer Gustave Eiffel, the tower was built as the entrance arch to the 1889 World's Fair. The tower stands 324 meters 1,063 feet tall, about the same height as an 81-story building. Upon its completion, it surpassed the Washington Monument to assume the title of tallest man-made structure in the world, a title it held for 41 years, until the Chrysler Building in New York City was built in 1930. However, due to the addition in 1957 of the antenna, the tower is now taller than the Chrysler Building. Not including broadcast antennas, it is the second tallest structure in France after the 2004 Millau Viaduct. The tower has three levels for visitors. Tickets can be purchased to ascend, by stairs or lift, to the first and second levels. The walk to the first level is over 300 steps, as is the walk from the first to the second level. The third and highest level is accessible only by elevator. Both the first and second levels feature restaurants. The tower has become the most prominent symbol of both Paris and France, often in the establishing shot of films set in the city. Text 3 Mona's National Monument The National Monument, or, Mona's, as it is popularly called, is one of the monuments built during the Sukarno era of fierce nationalism. The top of the National Monument, Mona's, is Freedom Square. It stands for the people's determination to achieve freedom and the crowning of their efforts in the proclamation of independence in August 1945. The 137-meter-tall marble obelisk is topped with a flame coated with 35 kilograms of gold. The base houses a historical museum and a hall for meditations. The monument is open to the public and upon request the lift can carry visitors to the top, which offers a bird's eye view on the city and the sea. Go early to beat the crowds and the haze. It is easy for the less physically able as lifts take visitors to the top. The diorama exhibition in the basement gives such a distorted view of Indonesian history. This imposing obelisk is Jakarta's most famous landmark. Construction started in 1961 under President Sokarno but was not completed until 1975, under President Sohato. The monument houses a couple of museums. The Freedom Hall depicts Indonesia's struggle for independence through a series of dioramas, whereas the Hall of Contemplation displays the original Declaration of Independence document and a recording of the speech. Text 4 Monument National Monas Monument National, Atau Yang Popular Dizbat, Monas, Adela Sala Satu Monument Yang Dabangan Pada Era Sukarno. Bajanatas Monument National, Monas, Adela Kotak Kebabasan. ITU Melambankan Tekad Rakyat Untuk Menkapai Kebabasan Dan Penabadanatas Usaha America Dalam Proklamasi Kemadakan Pada Augustus 1945.
Bangunan Mama Setinggi 137 meter ITU Dilapasi Dengan Nyala P Yang Dilapasi Dengan 35 kg Emas. Lantai Bawa Meripakan Museum Bursahara Dan Orla Untuk Meditasi. Monument ini tabaka untuk umum dan lift bisa membawa pengunjung ke pun kak, yang menawakan pemandangan kota dan lord. Pergola lebi paji supaya tidak telalu ramai dan tidak ada kebut asap. Monas juga sangat rumah bagi orang orang yang berkebutu and kusas. Pamaran di rama di ruang bawa tanah memberikan penjelasan tentang Sahara Indonesia. Konstruksi dimulai pada tahun 1961 di bawa presiden Sokano Naman tidak selesai sampai tahun 1975, di bawa presiden Sohato. Monumentus but memajang beberapa museum. The Freedom Hall mengembarkan perjuangan kemerdekaan Indonesia melalui serangkaian diorama, sedangkan ola kontemplasi menampilkan dokumen deklarasi kemerdekaan yang asli dan rekaman pedato tersebut. Text 5 Pink Beach Pink Beach or Pantai Mera Muda is one of the beaches in Komodo Island, East Nusa Tenggara. The beach is called Pink Beach because the sand beach is pink. The pink color of its beach is a mixture of white sand beach colors mixed with crushed coral, shells, calcium carbonate from marine invertebrates that are very small, and also foraminifera, microscopic amoeba that has a red body shell. At Pink Beach, there are so many marine organisms. No fewer than 1,000 species of fish, 260 species of coral, and 70 species of sponge can be found here. Having so much marine life, this place is a proper spot for snorkeling and diving for sea sports lovers.